Today here on Frigo Profiles episode 63 brings us directly back into the Goof Troop universe with Goofy and his son Max. The Disney series ran from 1992 to 1993. The series was followed up by two spin-off movies, 1995's A Goofy Movie and in 2000 an extremely goofy movie where our next featured girl can be found. Life is like a line. Mm, it's tart and tangy. Sweet. Oh, so sublime. The last and possibly best known love interest of PJ away from Rose Deckenbloom. A one-time major character who looked good in black to equally match her knack for words. In fact, she was such a major character, the movie didn't feel the need to give her an official name. Voiced by Vicky Lewis, she was dubbed as Beret Girl, named after the classic French hat she wore throughout the film. At an early midpoint into the film, Max, PJ, and Bobby discover a coffee shop called The Bean Scene on their college campus. Settling in, we got our first look at Beret performing in a cafe, and PJ found something that made his heart melt. It was not long after her performance that Max, PJ, and Bobby got into a dispute with Bradley and the Gammas. The Gammas decided to start a fight when Max refused to join their skate team without Bobby and PJ. That's when Beret stepped in to break up all the commotion, which led to one of the most memorable roles in her short existence. Sure. <laughs> I like your style, little Miss Mochaccino, but I'm busy right now. Ha! Oh, you slay me, tiger. You are the fly in my soup. You are the eyelash in my eye. You are so busy blowing out bad vibes in every direction that we are all choking on your secondhand smoke. Note to self, never start a fight in a poetry club because they will snap. Or in this case, snap you out of the building. After the Gammas left, Beret officially befriended Max and friends, and oddly enough, they did not exchange names with each other. The next we will see of her is at Club Dave. After turning down Bobby and his buffoonery, she accepted Max's invitation to come sit with them. It's here her and PJ finally get acquainted with each other. And needless to say, PJ put the moves on her. With no regard to the depth of their souls, the height of their passion, the beauty of their moments. Bray instantly found herself slain by PJ's way for words. So much so, that she invited him to come dance with her. Oh, you're swinging with some pretty cool canines there, Papa Dog. Well, you are queen of the scene, my little Java bee. PJ, you have definitely come a long way since Goof Troop. And as time progressed in the film and he got more in touch with his poetic side, Max was falling apart. To the point he was considering transferring colleges. That's where Beret did lay on a little bit of words of wisdom for him. Admit defeat, and defeat will surely admit you into permanent custody, my man. Even though the bro hype train didn't need her much. Boys will be boys. The last time we will see Beret, she is in the background with PJ after Goofy's graduation. By this point, they were officially a couple. And so ends this edition of Furry Girl Profiles. Thanks for tuning in to Furry Girl Profiles Beret Girl. If you liked today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for future videos. My name is Jawbreaker, and I thank you for watching Play for a Cinema.